hi everyone so i'm gonna tell you how you can create your facebook page and how you can create your facebook ad so after logging into your facebook account you need to you will see this screen just click on your home page and click on this see more button on the left side and look for pages 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 do you see it somewhere why oh, I, I can't see them oh here so here is pages you have to find the pages where you can create your pages so click on create page here right give it a relevant name demo by Avi yeah right then you have to select your category real estate agent or you can select a real estate as well right you can add multiple categories here so you don't have to worry about if you miss any anything one is enough but it's required you cannot skip it you know okay done then you have to scroll down here is a description you can tell here about your business what services you are giving you know some people do resale pre-construction mortgages you can talk about anything here basically your services then click on create page after that it will ask you it will just give you option if you want to upload your profile picture or your cover photo this one right you can do it right away while creating page or you can skip it just click on save you can upload your pictures okay i want to close it you can upload your pictures anytime like after clicking on save you you will see this this thing so that's your facebook page after that you have to create your username here username because uh, okay i will show you okay so look at this in the url it's showing me facebook.com slash demo by avidan there is a big you know big pattern of number so it's very hard to remember this name instead of that you can use something like this or maybe the page name without any space all small letters demo by Avi. it should be there yeah uh -oh, it's not available One, two, three. Mm -hmm. can I add underscore maybe no not allowed we core yeah let's see it's not available to demo by avg1 i think what i need to add more oh heck man demo by avg1 create oh my goodness the, the it's just a demo because i have already created these usernames so that's why it's not showing me or allowing me to create a username shivani rana okay still oh man still jeevan my goodness Nirana Realtor maybe oh my god 
what is this okay i'm gonna skip it but you have to give a unique name here right don't think i didn't create it but i have to think a lot to make a you know unique name so you have to give a unique name here in the username right then click on create so it will create a username something like this do you see at home life human reality so it will show let's say for example at demo by avi at uh, sold by shivani you know anything you, you anything you will write in the username it will show your username here and it will also show your username here so for now it's showing me this anonymous name it's hard to remember it's easy to remember this one right so make sure you give a unique name to your username after that you have to okay you can add your website link here your phone number your contact information basically here you can add it, it make it cool so that it should look professional if somebody visits your web page or your facebook page there should be some information relevant information so that you know we can identify that it's a valid or you know um, not a spam page it's a good one right so after that you have to look for i'm gonna go ahead with the ad center to create your ads so uh, you have to look for ad center here on the left side this menu here is ad center click here so every time you create an ad you have to select the goal so first you need to create an ad click on the create ad button so here you have to select the goal you know if you want to generate more leads so we have to select this get more leads sometime this card shows up here here anywhere look look for get more leads card and click here uh, the first thing you have to do here is to rename the form you know when you download the leads it will show you the source of leads and that source come from the form names if you are using an anonymous name like the same this one the default one then it's never gonna explain you where that lead comes from or uh, for which project that lead has signed up you know so for example we are let's say promoting novo condos i have to use this relevant name so that i can identify the leads the source of leads right so make sure you rename the form right then that's the preview we already have a full name and email we need to have a phone number as well click on this so this is how my form gonna look like then click on next right so that's the description that's the main facebook ad you can design your ad here you can select your audience here you can select your budget here you can select your number of days how many number of days you want to run your ad so the first thing here is the description right you have to describe about the project project its location you have to mention price if you know or otherwise instead of price you can say uh, sign up today to get access to floor plans and pricing if you don't have a pricing in case then you can use this thing sign up today to get access to floor plans and pricing right then you have to talk about the uh, project features you know like if it's a building then is it a high-rise 
low rise or detached homes detached homes singles town homes right you have to describe the type of property then you have to talk about the features sorry features you can talk about the neighborhood you can talk about the building amenities you can talk about um, what else mm -mm -mm. let's say how many bedrooms there are right uh, before that you can talk about stories depends on the type of property number of stories number of bedrooms right then you can talk about uh, sizes you, you and you can say extended deposit structure right so you can talk about these things in the add detail like for the project detail you don't have to write too much text here you just have to talk about to the point things and just that's it so uh, as you may have noticed whatever I'm typing here it's updating the add preview so that's my preview it's updating here so it's gonna look like this right after that you 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 can change the image of this ad you can upload an image you can choose a video or an image you can crop it to make it a perfect fit for the ad right so you can do it after that you have to select the headline you can write something book your dream home so there is a character limit as well you cannot uh, this one you cannot type more than 20 characters 25 characters sorry so make sure whatever you want to deliver like a small message it should be a bit in the range of 25 then sign up button it is just the name of the button this button shows up here so anybody clicks on this sign up button it will open up the form we just created previously you know remember the nova condos then i added a phone number and on the right side it was showing me the preview full name email phone number so whosoever will click on this sign up it will show the form so that users can send their information as a lead after this you have to select the special ad category that's the new policy you have to turn it on every time you create an ad you cannot skip it if you uh, if you skip it your ad is never gonna run right so you have to select the category housing done then comes the audience here you have to select the audience you have to edit the areas where you want to show your ad so you will see this pencil icon right uh, you cannot uh, target based on gender it will go to everybody you cannot increase or decrease the age range so you cannot control these two things but you can control the locations right so currently united state by default is the selector you have to remove it you have to add the locations of the project or the locations where you want to target people let's say brampton right so it has given me the brampton 
let's say Mississauga. Done. Right, so you can add multiple locations here. Wait. Right. So as you can see, it's covering a water like 30% part of this Mississauga location. It's covering water. So instead of like if you notice it, you can select the location. If you don't know the name of the location, you can click on the drop in this drop in and click anywhere on the map. So it will create a, a location map on the surface. You can increase the um, radius of this like this. So it's going to cover 20 miles from this location. So it's a very wide range, right? Then you have to select the save audience and it's going to target up to this people it, it all depends on your budget if you if you are gonna spend ten dollars per day then it will target people according to ten dollars if you are spending hundred dollars per day then it's gonna target more people right so make sure you select your budget very carefully so after audience there is a section of duration it shows like it tells you how long you want to run your ad so minimum should be 14 days right so it's gonna run my ad for 10 10th february 10th of february so um at least you should spend um uh, 20 to 25 dollars per day so 14 is 20 so up to 280 dollars you are supposed to spend on 14 days what it will do you just have to mention the total budget here right the total budget here and it will divide the 280 between 14 days let's say 20 it will divide like it will invest around 20 dollars per day so in that it will cover that much people and you are expected to have these leads like 2 to 12 leads per day it can be more it can be less it can be zero so there is a no guarantee of leads but if you keep on monitoring your things if you add good description here then definitely you will get good leads here right so yeah done after that you have to add your payment method you can select your debit or credit card accordingly and click on next and give your credit card details then click on promote now i don't have a card attached with this account so it's not gonna run until you add your payment method this one so yeah that's it so other thing I want to talk about here is that whenever you you want to create an ad you don't have to create a new page you have to use a single page every time and you can um, you know create multiple ads from a single page it's not like that if if you want to run two ads then you have to create two pages no you have to use a single page every time to create multiple ads and that's it thank you